Leviticus 19.20a Ve'ish ki yishkav et isha shikhavat zera ve'hi shivcha necherefet la'ish Now in this context, there's been a series of laws to show what it means for Israel to be holy. And this includes moral laws. And here, there's a. this is actually a case law that extends the cases for the reparation or guilt offering. Now, a man, um, if he lays with uh, a woman or a a, a wife laying with the seed, and she, a maidservant, that is, she is a maidservant who has been designated for a man. Yishkav. Now, this comes from Shin, Kav, Beit, Talai. It's a call imperfect, and we can tell by the prefix pronoun, 3ms, and the man, if he shall lie. Necherefet, this comes from chet, resh, pay, to acquire, and we can see by the noon on the front, this is a nifal. And then with the tav at the end and the turning it into a segalit, this sort of segalitization, this is a participle feminine singular. That is, if she has been acquired or if she is acquired. So we see then this case law, um, which is going to deal with another additional case to extend the kind of cases that apply to the reparation or the guilt offering. This one's interesting because we often debate in Leviticus chapter uh, 5 and 6 whether that's only for unintentional sin. But sleeping with, uh, that is having sexual relations with a person, this is definitely an intentional um, infraction. So this shows that the cases for reparation offerings must include intentional sins.